Thanks for joining us on the River Region TV show with JT and Leanne. I am really excited to introduce Scott Bruce all the way from California. We are here at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. He is performing tonight. It is a fundraiser. He comes in every year. His show sells out all the time. And uh, tell our viewers, if they have never seen a show, why they should come and see you. Well, there besides, are so you many know, reasons. I mean, so oh, many thanks. reasons. <laughs> well, you know, for us, it's about the music. The music is just really great. It is. We say this during our show that, you know, most of the songs we do were, were recorded more than 50 years ago, and yet they're just as catchy, they're just as relevant, and they're just as cool as they were when people heard them on the radio for the first time all those years ago. Oh, they're just, yeah. the music's just great, and it's fun. And uh, we have seen your show before. I'm going to bring my girls tonight. Um, and one of the things that I like is you're not an impersonator. Um, you are your your group is is so respectful of the music. Although, in my opinion, I think you could be Elvis's son. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's very kind. And um, you know, we are very respectful that's about the I way like we the do show. this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and that really that's what a tribute really should be. Um, yeah, and of course, the guys love the music as much as I do and care about the quality and the authenticity. But but we talk about Elvis in the third person. Um, you know, I don't say, this was the number one record for me in 1956. <laughs> I say, this is a number one record for Elvis in 1956. That's what I love about the show. You be, and, and you learn so much because you guys tell the story, too, of, of everything and where the music was recorded. And, and it just is so much fun. And the women in the audience really respond to you. Isn't that fun? Yes, yes. Well, I think that everybody <laughs> benefits from that. I think everyone else in the audience gets to enjoy that. And, and really, um, they're playing a role, too, you know, by... By, they're participating because at a real Elvis concert, women were just going crazy. Oh, yeah. So these women bring undergarments to throw <laughs> on stage, and, and everyone else gets to enjoy that, yes, too. Yes, it is, it is a sight, and um, people are, you know, always dancing. It just wants to, the, the music just makes you want to get up and move. And, uh, yeah. and, and we're excited about the show tonight and want to let everybody know that every time you come into town, it's always a fundraiser for the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. That is right. That is right. Um, you know, the performing arts, um, you know, it's, it's always, you know, they are so dependent on the community. And quite often, you know, especially in these economic times, mm -hmm. uh, you know, government funding, you know, sometimes they can funnel a little bit down to the arts and sometimes things are tight. And throughout the year, um, you know, they put on these productions and, and their budget is based mostly on that. So when they have this extra benefit concert, this allows uh, Alabama Shakespeare Festival to afford some really important uh, things one year in particular they they bought defibrillators mm -hmm. just certain things that are really critical parts of keeping the theater going but not always something that can fall within the regular budget so it's just an right. extra added thing that's very very beneficial and everybody wins yes they do and the arts are beautiful the alabama shakespeare festival is just a beautiful venue and you are also coming back for Valentine's Day. Yes, I'm coming back with a good friend of mine who does a Buddy Holly tribute act. His name is John Mueller, and we are doing a show on Valentine's it's Day. so sweet. It is so sweet. Now, what's your and wife think the, about that? Um, that I'm doing a show mm -hmm. uh, on Valentine's uh, in, Day? in Alabama on Valentine's mm, Day. She's probably not real happy about that. Well, you know what? In my family and in my house with my wife, since every day is Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, whatever. Every day is Valentine's Day. I knew you were going day. there. Well, I knew you were going there. You know what? I, some of us need to, you know, have a, a special designated day to say I love you. But I just You're say just I love you all the time. You're just blessed enough to do it all the time. All right. Very good. Will you play a little bit for us? Yes. And uh, I hope uh, I can get a copy of this, or it, yes. hopefully it airs in California, so my dear wife will. Yes. Have seen oh, that. we will definitely. Um, we'll find you on Facebook and all that. Oh yes, please. To you. Hey, yes. Russell, Denny, is Lee around here? Hey, would you guys come be on TV? Come be in uh, show business. Sure. With us? <laughs> um, these are. Uh, this is Russell Scott. Lee Pardini and Denny Presley. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can take it away. These are my good pals yes. and members of the band, and uh, I couldn't do this song without them. Uh, Elvis did this song on uh, the Ed Sullivan Show. It's called Peace in the Valley. Ready, fellas? Oh, well, I'm 
tired and so weary, but I must go alone till the Lord comes and calls, calls me home. And the night, night is as black, black as the sea, oh yeah. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me, oh Lord, I pray. There'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble, trouble I see. There will be peace in the valley for me, for me. Very nice, fellas. That was awesome.